Hey guys, so here I have the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Texture Tiger Radio Control. So actually, as you can see, this is the car that InGen is using in the first Jurassic World at the end to check the Raptors and the Indominus Rex. But actually, as you can see, the color is all wrong in the movie, it's beige, here it's fully blue. So some kind of issue to me. The logo is the wrong one as well, but as you know, most of the people don't care about that, it seems, but I do, so I mean, I'm not really fond of this because the sculpt, however, is perfect. So anyways, we have the classical box design with Owen Blue, the cages, volcano exploding. You have another picture here of the car. The side is very simple as well. At the back, you have also more information. So well, let's open it and on top of that, repaint it. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, the repaint was very simple. I could have added many details with the paint, but I kept it very simple. So I repainted the whole body in Saint Beige with spray paint from Revel. And then I painted the black parts. To have the perfect shapes painted, don't hesitate to use tape and then paint the black parts. I used all the original stickers, just be careful with this one because it's quite fragile. One thing to me that is missing that they should have added an extra sticker here, but well, small detail. Once again, the sculpt is perfect, so it's really the texture and tiger from Jurassic World. Inside the car, you have also a few details, but none of them are painted. And well, as you can see, you can fit two figures inside. So here you have Owen. And on top of that, on each side here, you can place other figures, so it's cool. Then let's place it in it. So well, it fits perfectly, easy to put in place. So well, I'm gonna try on the table of the car, so not a lot of space, so I'm gonna do my best. So it goes quite fast, actually. And you can even like turn the wheels. As you can see, so this is really great. So here you've got a closer view. And then with the rear, you can rotate them to the front or to the rear, which is cool. So well, overall, I really like the vehicle. I'm really happy that Mattel made some because actually the sculpts are each time very accurate. So for this, a huge thanks to Mattel. Now, the only thing to me which is a bit a problem is that they should be uh, releasing it in beige instead of blue. I guess it's because it's Jurassic World, but even the blue of Jurassic World is not like that. So I'm not sure where they went for this color. But actually, if you repaint it, it's quite easy and the result is really impressive. We really have a very cool Jurassic World vehicle. I wish we had also the G-Class, for example. It would have been great. So well, if you have any questions or requests about this Textron Tiger radio control by Mattel, don't hesitate to contact me on my pages.